Hey everyone, Brent here with TheDroidDemos.com. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a ROM for the HTC EVO 3D. This one is called Cursed Dragon. It's version 2.3.4. It was just released a couple days ago, and it's based off the Super ROM. So if you use that one, uh, you'll kind of get a similar experience. Um, but there's a lot of great optimizations on this one. Um, it's got a whole uh, AOSP feel, so we've got um, a lot of the elements of stock Android. Um, gingerbread on here so you'll notice right off the bat the status bar and the icons um, I'll go ahead and run through everything that's been done on here um, mostly a lot of things like I said with AOSB uh, so you can see here we got all the different icons um, you'll notice um, some of them are from Honeycomb uh, for tablets so like you see here Gmail icon uh, browser icon um, email icon all these things are the icons off of Honeycomb um, and again the other thing you'll notice here is uh, a really simple um, interface uh, rather we don't have any bloatware so you don't have to worry about all the random sprint apps or uh, spider-man whatever comes on the phone uh, just stock you don't have to have all that on here when you first uh, start using your phone. Um, so it cuts down on the size of the ROM a lot. This one comes in at 230 megabytes so there's a lot of junk cut out um, to speed up the ROM. Um, we have the new market here um, so you see that if you haven't seen that yet um, a lot of great options, new interface um, like I said we have the AOSP status bar up here we have um, the 3D gallery has been added in um, if you've seen that before, it's a cool interface. Uh, so if I go over here and, or rather go to the left and I pull over, and that's 3D, you can see that. Just cool little uh, functionality there. Um, uh, for performance wise, um, it has the RC Mix uh, kernel, so you will be able to overclock this up to 2 gigahertz. Um, no. Uh, guarantee on the uh, stableness that you'll get on it, but you should be able to get pretty close to that. Um, you should be able to run at 1.8 uh, fairly easily. Um, there is a, a longer Wi-Fi scan on here, so that'll save on a little bit a little bit of battery life if you like to leave Wi-Fi on, um, among a few other battery improvements. Um, including a GPS fix, uh, so you should be getting faster locks on GPS with this ROM. Um, and inside a concrete building, so probably won't be able to get a quick lock, but I'll go ahead and show maps real quick uh, just to show you here, see how fast it can get on it. Um, if you'll notice up here in the meantime, you see the little E there for edge. Obviously, Sprint technically is an edge, but you'll be able to see the difference between 3G and um, the 2G more or less uh, speeds. Um, we have a hotspot working so if you want to tether um, just go down here quick settings and we have Wi-Fi hotspot that's working right out of the box. Um, right here you'll notice that this is uh, clear uh, or rather transparent um, notification bar and black rather than the white on the stock ROM. Um, we have 5-in-1 reboot if I go ahead and hold the power button. Then we have the uh, restart options here. Hot restart doesn't work, but you'll have recovery, bootloader, and normal um, right there as well. Sorry about the noise, there's some construction going on. Um, going through a few more of the options. Camera, uh, this is... Um, more or less the same, but we have the panoramic option on here. Um, as you'll see here that I keep going back home, uh, we have the gingerbread launcher. We also have ADW launcher. Uh, we have the talk app with video. So you see the video icons right there. We can do that. Um, a few other new apps. We have the, my, uh, I call it my UI uh, music app. So that's pretty cool. Um, a really nice interface. I like it. Um, so uh, you see here, um, 
pretty cool now playing option. If there's lyrics on it, if it can grab the lyrics, the lyrics will scroll, scroll here as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. Let me pause that. Um, and then the last few things, uh, we have Astro File Manager here. Um, and uh, I think that's about it. That's the main um, uh, things that have been built in here. I do think there's also the screen capture option. So uh, if I hold power button and hit home, then uh, you see that white flash. Uh, that is a screenshot, um, something that was added in the latest update, uh, the official update on Sprint for the Evo 3D um, that allow you to take screenshots just with that, so you don't have to worry about having a screen capture app um, such as Shoot Me. Uh, so that's it. Uh, this is, like I said, it's Curse Dragon 2.3.4 based off of Super ROM made by Empire, as you see right here. Uh, definitely a really quick ROM. If you like the feel of AOSP, um, then you'll definitely want to try this out as it's got a lot of great options, features, and the functionality and look of AOSP um, while we wait for CyanogenMod to come out for the Evo 3D. Um, like I said, I'm Brent from thedroiddemos.com, and thanks for watching.